Former star hotshots import Ricardo Ratliff has faced the veteran core of rain or shine many times back in the PBA. But going against the squad, while donning a different nation's jersey brought out bittersweet feelings. If I'm not all going for my team, I'm always going for the Philippines. I watch a lot of PBA games still, I watch Gilas all the time, said the 29-year-old center. Ratliff played for the Hotshots until 2017, before he became a naturalized citizen of South Korea in January 2018. He has been training with the Korean national team since then. But Ratliff hopes he can still get to see action in the PBA in the future. I hope that I can still play in the PBA. Well, when I was at the free throw, I didn't like those boos, joked Ratliff. With Ratliff's familiarity of the veteran heel as players, he was able to give his Korean teammates an extra scouting report. But of course, he's out of it for the new additions to the team, especially his matchup Christian Stan Hardinger and NBA player Jordan Clarkson. It's my first time playing against Stanley, my first time playing against Big Chris, I enjoyed battling against him, and for the most part, most players are new to me, so I especially enjoyed it, especially because of JC, Jordan Clarkson, added Ratliff. The South Korean national team were successful in dominating the Philippine team especially in the first quarter, but Gilas gave them a surprise comeback in the second frame and a run capped by a Clarkson mid-range jumper. The Filipinos just fell short of sustaining the lead in the payoff period, but the surge in the middle of the game still amazed Ratliff. For them to have a team that's only been together for one week, I think they did a great job. We've been together since January, so I think all they're missing out is chemistry, said the American South Korean.